Welcome to Walgreens Trash and Recycling Management Program. This training program explains the important proper operating and safety procedures of the refuse and recycling equipment Walgreens has provided for your store's operating success. Walgreens has partnered with Green Environmental Management and Advanced Custom Engineered Systems and Equipment Company to create a state-of-the-art refuse and recycling program. The success of our program depends on you, the Walgreen employee, who has been entrusted with the care and operation of this equipment. This video will provide guidelines for the most efficient operation and use of this equipment and who to contact if you should have questions about your equipment or your refuse and recycling service. Managers, please remember, Minors under the age of 18 are prohibited from loading, unloading, operating, or assisting in the operation of the compactor or shredder equipment. And never operate the shredder or compactor if the safety devices are not operational. This refuse equipment was designed by ACES. The shredder is equipped with a deodorizer to minimize garbage odors in the feed chute. Please pay special attention to these operating guidelines. The following items are considered dangerous when combined or compressed and could cause an explosion or fire inside the compactor or shredder. For your safety and the safety of Walgreen employees, every employee should make certain none of the following materials are even unintentionally placed in trash that will be put into the compactor. Dangerous items include the following types of products, but there may be other items like these in your store, so be careful when disposing of any item that has chemicals or batteries. No chemicals or pesticides. This includes items that contain bleach, cleaning supplies, or pool chemicals, lawn chemicals, fertilizers, or insect repellents. No flammable products. These include items like aerosol cans, lighter fluid, paint or paint thinners, disposable cameras or oils, and of course, no products containing gasoline or kerosene. No hazardous waste products. Examples include batteries, lubricants, light tubes, tires, and of course, any type of product that contains batteries or would be a hazardous material. If you have a question about a product being hazardous, flammable, or explosive, ask your manager first before sending it to the shredder or compactor. Note, each time you place material into the shredder, you must turn the shredder on and process the content. For your safety, the shredding occurs behind the interlocked access door, which will automatically turn off the power if the door is open. Let's look inside. Be sure to limit the trash placed into the shredder. A maximum load limit is shown on the inside wall of the loading chamber. The amount of material you place inside the chamber at one time should not exceed this level. The video shows the actual shredding taking place. Do not attempt to open the doors to view this equipment while operating. Wrapping of the scrap materials, including plastics around the shredder wheels, is a common part of the shredding process. No cleaning of the shredder is required. In fact, this wrapping actually helps in the shredding process. An electronic control system regulates the shredding process. The machine will sense when materials are jammed and automatically begin a reverse action process designed to dislodge the material and then continue the shredding. The reverse and proceed process may repeat several dozen times. A red light indicates the shredder is operating normally. A blinking red light means the shredder needs to be restarted, at which time the reverse and the proceed process will repeat again until the material has been fully processed. A normal shredding operation will last up to two minutes. Do not interrupt the system during its operation, and no one should ever enter or attempt to remove debris from inside the shredder. It is the store's responsibility using parking lot maintenance or store personnel to manage, inspect, and clean up loose trash in the corral area after your trash hauler's scheduled weekly pickup. 
Be sure to inspect and remove any trash in the corral and parking lot areas and specifically check under the trash containers for scrap that may have fallen out or spilled during the waste hauler's pickup. Trash left under the waste container can interfere with the proper operation of your equipment and is in violation of local sanitation codes.